First of all, put on a gloss because gloss is everything. Everything. Hello guys, welcome to another episode English version of my channel. So the last video I was reveal a the palette for you too, which is just like eyeshadow for six different shades. I'm still stuck with the eyeshadow vibe. So today I'm going to show you guys every single eyeshadow palette. I own. So today there's no reveal, there's no sponsor. I'm just like shit and chat and show you guys how many products I have. And make sure to you subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow my Instagram as well. Anyways, I look really Asian today. But I uh, know bro, I mean I am Asian, but I mean like Asian Asian, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so are you ready? Let's get started. So as you guys see the child in my side right here, it's actually a pressure. I keep out of eyeshadow or every single kind of like palette stuff in this gel. Let's start with the bigger one. Woo! This one actually came out for a long time. This is Morphe. I think this palette is kind of like popular in that time. I don't know if you can find it nowadays, but I broke one pen. <laughs> So this one it costs maybe 1000 baht. I'm not sure about that, but I'm not actually use it much anymore. And the next one is Natasha Devona. This one is Diamond and Glow. I got it as a gift from my cute girl, No Serious. She went to USA and she bought this one to me. It's actually a, a tester size. And the packaging actually came in with magnet as well. I like it. The next one is the China brand, I guess, because it's like Hojo. I don't know if you guys ever heard this brand before, but I actually seen it a lot in every Express or Shopee and every single shop that is selling a cheap product. I got the three of them. I don't know why, but I'm very really upset with the design of them. Like it literally be a bag, you see like the design at the front of the palette just literally reminds me for Tarte eyeshadow for some reason. But it's literally sparkling and rainbowy. I don't know, I like it, but it looks so really cool. So I will show you the color and stuff. I honestly never used one of them. No no no. I just bought and I keep them. the blue or purple one. You see how how pretty it is like it's really pretty so um the reason why i bought this one because one pan they comes up with the glitter dry glitter you see so when you put it eyeshadow like another one it just literally just powder pack color but this one is a like, dry glitter so you just like tap the glitter on it and you can see it. it's really cute so i bought this one because of this this one is black one i mean if you are a, like a really beginner start to make up i think you might both kind of this because it's not expensive and it really just like medium quality so you will not disappoint with this one i think and the last one is pink one it's a little really look cute with this palette uh this one also include with dry glitter too but it's like a pink glitter so the next one is for you to look at me palette i got six of them oh it's fine it's fine oh my god in case you didn't watch the review yet just make sure you check it the link up there this one is actually the most that i use quite oftenly because the color the color to wear some fancy eyeshadow i will go to this palette because you can see this actually rainbow so i think this this is worth for your money I'm not sure how much is it. I forgot because I bought it for long ago. Okay, next one is for you to Even Boy Cream Brush Palette. Try three of them. But two. This one I haven't tried yet. Okay, the next one is Essence. I got it from the event I went to. And there's a promotion like buy one and get one, some kind of thing. And I got two palettes. Uh, this one is Hey Cheeks. This one is quite popular. Like contour, highlight, bronzer, cheeks, brush, and everything. I think it's really worth for your money. The next one is G Day Sydney. Eyeshadow palette. I haven't tried yet. I don't know what exactly the tone is. So the next 
one is Naked Urban Decay. I got Shuri and I got Heat Palette. Oh, and another Morphe. It's this tiny one. And next is Colourpop. Oh my god, what a mess. <laughs> yes, please, palette. Oh my god, this palette is literally everything too. It reminds me for a McDonald's themed color. <laughs> and a pigment. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Pigment. Mm -mm. Okay, next one is Tarte Pro. Every single color is kind of like mixed with the gray or smoke color. Even even the brick color right here. It still see as a dark brick color, which is sometimes when I put on my eyes, it goes really heavy. Sometimes I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, you know what I mean. <gasps> this one I pre-ordered from some girl on my Facebook. It's just literally just 200 baht. I found this on Beautyram. Uh, it sells like five or 600 baht, I believe. Color inside is literally easy to use, like brown, red, orangey, gold. You guys can see there's literally like Victorian picture on it, and like a 3D print on it. And I really like it. another one that I never use is Melinda Color Block. This reminds me for 70s makeup, you know, like heavy makeup, grunge makeup, kind of like. A really blue dark, some kind of like green and stuff like even the gold color is still dark. This one is my favorite. I always adore with this palette because the shade, the pigments, the tone, it's literally suit on me. It's kind of like pink knit and super palette. See? This one! This one! This is another Shimmery Hills a Modern Renaissance palette. The color that everybody knows is actually really good, common, and easy to use. Adore. I think this palette is kind of like a couple palettes. They start a trend. Red eyes, orange eyes kind of thing. People still use this palette nowadays, honestly, because I've saw some people still use it on Instagram as well. Um, okay, so the next one is also my favorite brand. This is Supermom. This is a uh, sparkling marble palette this one girl i mean like duh the next one is a new band by juvia gorgeous palette i use this for a couple times the next one is sweet top by kappa girl i mean it's literally gorgeous doesn't it i like to wear this palette every day honestly this has become my favorite palette for now another color pop palette this is the fame rosa i don't know you guys know things it but i i am a big fan of rose it's actually easy to use especially with this shade is so cute another color pop palette Guess what? Okay, this one is actually more colorful and more fun. If you can see the palette is like including with the nude, brown and blue and also hot pink one. Like what? Girl, what? And guess what? Another color pop palette. <laughs> Give it to me strange. This one is actually usual palette because the color in it is really easy to use as well. It's lily burgundy again. But it's more purple on the bottom line and the peachy on the middle one and nude on the side one so i think it's um or top and guess what another color pop party <laughs> this one is i think i love you oh brown literally nude brown gold and black Back to another one quickly oh this one i just revealed this one <laughs> If you missed the makeup by this palette, just make sure you tap click the link up there because I just revealed like a few days ago. Oh, this one I'm talking about. That's another of the Chinese brand. And you guys can see it's really cute 3D print on the front of the palette. And this one is easy even more to use because the color of it is kind of like a rosy pink brown and a bit fun with the blue. And you know, like there are family. Another one is from NYX. It's out around Coachella Festival and easy to use six pens and eh, look cute. This one is bomb. Color lane a queen of hearts. The color of it is literally so drag queen like they give us a purple, brown, gold, pink, nude, peach, and white. I must say this one is insane. Like the pigment of this one is are insane. Another one is where ADA is tiny products. Okay. Ooh, girl. And I gotta say, this one is literally late. Throwback time to that time. People don't wear a lot of orangey, burgundy eyes that much. Violet Bust is where the first brand to come up with this palette. And then another brand has come out just like this brand because the tone and everything is just really good seller. Every single time when I wear this palette, people just is like, which palette you wear today? Which palette you choose today? Violet Bust Kids. 
the only one Kylie palette in my collection. This one is the first, very first palette from Kylie. This one is a burgundy palette, okay? I use this a lot because I was like uh, Kylie Cosmetics before, but now it's just like, oh, oh, I really, really was a big fan of Ron Klein. This one is Venus one. Oh my God, really gorgeous design, really gorgeous color. But the very first products that came out, I bought, I bought this for long ago, okay? So it was not that good quality for me because, okay, the pigment is so pigmented, but there's also fall out, so powdery, so bad. So I'm not actually wear this that much because it's so powdery and not the shine. Okay, this one is Sun Sage Mini. Sunset palette. I bought it by myself. Also good quality as well in burgundy gold. Just perfect for everyday look as well. And I go travel. I will pick this one. So that's it for eyeshadow. Actually, I have another corner with the eyeshadow palette, which is I'm lazy to <laughs> pick them and talk about it. Um, this video it takes so long, and I am very really grateful if you're still here until this minute. So. But yeah, that's all the palette eyeshadows I own. What do you think about this video? Which one is your favorite palette? Just leave the comment below. And if you have any idea you want me to do something else, just tell me on the comment below as well. See you on another videos and thank you for watching. Bye.